Air power consists of the application of military strategy and strategic theory to the realm of aerial warfare and close air support. The future combat air system is a key instrument in ensuring future European autonomy and sovereignty in defense and security. And what have been the most important FCAS milestones so far? The Future Combat Air System FCAS, is a European combat system of systems under development by Dassault Aviation, Airbus and Indra Systemas, new generation fighter, NGIF, a sixth generation jet fighter that by around 2040 will replace current France's Rafales, Germany's Typhoons and Spain's EF-18 Hornets. The FCA's concept was developed in the frame of the ETAP European Technology Acquisition Program that was started in 2000 and won as a cooperation between Germany, France, Great Britain, Italy, Sweden, and Spain. Since then, Germany and France have repeatedly underlined their ambition to realize this important European undertaking. The new FCAS concept was a system of systems, SOAS, approach combining manned and unmanned systems, combat aircraft, and UCAV, to be more efficient in the envisaged future scenarios than operating with manned systems alone. The FCAS will consist of a next-generation weapon system, NGUDAVS, as well as other air assets in the future operational battle space, the NGVS's components will be remote carrier vehicles, swarming drones. SCAS is progressing well as planned. The very first decision to develop a joint European air defense system of the next generation was taken by Chancellor Merkel and President Macron in summer 2017. In 2017, Germany and Spain asked Airbus to start working on a proposal for a new fighter under the name Future Combat Air System, SCAS. At the 2018 ILA Berlin Air Show, Dassault Aviation and Airbus announced an agreement to cooperate on the development of the FCAS. The German Defense Ministry welcomed Spain's expression of interest in the program. In June 2019, Spain joined the program. Each country has designated a national industrial coordinator, Intra for Spain, Dassault Aviation for France and Airbus for Germany. Dassault Aviation will serve as prime contractor for the NGF, while Safran Aircraft Engines will be the prime contractor for the next generation fighter aircraft engine, taking the lead in engine design and integration while MTU Aero Engines, as the main partner for the first phase of research and technology, will take the lead in engine services. In December 2019, Safran and MTU Aero Engines agreed on the foundation of a 50 50 joint venture that will be incorporated by the end of 2021 to manage the development, production, and the after-sales support activities of the new engine to power the NGF. On 12 February 2020, the first phase, 1A, of the Research and Development Program was approved by the German Parliament Budget Committee. It set up the industrial distribution of the first five sub-programs. While Airbus will lead the development of accompanying remote carrier vehicles and the broader systems supporting combat cloud, it will also be carrier-capable and will fly from the French Navy's future aircraft carrier. If the agreement moves forward, the different industrialists involved in the project will be able to share the 3.6 billion euros, 3 US dollars, and 875 cents 364.000, earmarked for Phase 1B, which should pave the way for the development of a technology demonstrator. Manufacturers and authorities will have to sit again at the table of negotiations for Phase 2, with the production, assembly, and flight tests of this demonstrator. Dassault, Airbus, together with their partners MTU Aero Engines, Safran, MBDA, and Thales, were awarded the initial framework contract which launches the demonstrator phase. Beginning February 2020, it is expected to cover a period of 18 months of research and development. 
While it assigned different roles to the above-mentioned companies, Spain was left out. A test flight of a demonstrator is expected around 2027 and entry into service around 2040. Future combat air systems, SCAS fighter and remote carriers were unveiled. The kickstart of SCAS will undoubtedly stir up the German arms industry. In contrast, the capability mismatch with countries like China and Russia that operate fifth-generation fighter jets is an incentive for France to get on the SCAS project seriously. All content on Angie Norman is presented for educational purposes. Thumbnails and titles are for illustration only. This is very useful information today. I hope it is useful and becomes knowledge for all of you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later.